You know, look, Alex has been great, all-star performer, so I don't think it's, you know, but hadn't, it's been good lately. So, you know, he's got great stuff, and, you know, Lindor worked a walk to start off the inning, and, you know, we're holding the runner, and I think it was a change-up. Conforto got out in front of a little bit, so we're first and third, and you at the heart of the order, to your point, Erica, and, um, you know, just took a step back and said, I, I got this. You know, he made some really, really quality pitches. Um, bore down, made some quality pitches to, you know, like you said, the heart of their lineup and was able to go uh, one, two, three with three punch outs to, to end the threat. And, of course, we added on from there. It's a great six job. Yes, indeed. Uh, six shutout innings by Wayno. He credited the Mets lineup for driving his pitch count up. Um, what did you see from him in those six innings tonight? Oh, uh, he battled his tail off as always, um, you know, Able to throw a sinker, was on the ground, got some ground ball out. Um, used the devastator, changeup was effective. Of course, the curveball is always good. Uh, made his pitches. You know, they did make him work a little bit. You know, went over and talked to him after the after the sixth, and you know, he uh, I said I think that's enough, and he said yeah. Got a little bit more, but they, you know, there's been some good, you know, tough at bats against me tonight, and he did a great job for six scoreless and. Played good defense behind him. You know, Neil made a nice play to cut off the the ball. The hit hitting the first, and so so leaping grad on on McMahon and the Yachty was fantastic all night. You know, blocking. So, but Wayno was tremendous again. You know, a lot of quality pitches. Last one for me. As far as the offense goes, you guys tack on these four runs in the top of the ninth inning. Seven straight men get on base. Uh, just your thought on the quality of bats and able to tack on those runs like the game. Yeah, great at bats. Very important to add on. You know, we need to continue to you know score early. That's great, and keep getting it. Um, and that's what we did tonight. Stayed, stayed hungry. And you know, Goldie started with a six pitch walk, and um, Tio base hit, Nolan base hit, Yadi base hit. Nolan did a great job going first to third. Um, and then Yadi trailed him to able to get to second. And then you know, of course, they intentionally walked Dylan. And I, I thought it was a really, really, really good at bat by Sosa. You know. Um, Got ahead in the count, took some swings, got it back to um, full count, and then um, just shortened up. Nice line drive to right. Harrison, nice, you know, contact, base hit, and then, um, you know, opened it up. And it was a great job. And Whit was able to pitch really well, clean, crisp uh, ninth to bring it home. Katie Wood. Mike, going back to Alex quickly, he's talked a lot about ever since the Milwaukee game when he, he went back with the Audi and talks about how his stuff can play, but he can't leave it over the plate. You've been pretty candid about his consistency, not matching the quality of his pitching. Have you seen an improvement on that consistency from him over the last few outings? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, he's, he's trying not to, you know, he's trying to make sure he's controlling counts and that takes place on the plate. Got to trust his stuff in the zone, so he's doing both of those, and then you know making sure he's making quality pitches, you know, in the zone, and he's uh, definitely what we saw tonight, and um, have seen fairly recently, and 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 parts of this season for sure. Um, it's just a matter of consistency of of quality of pitch and um, not being too fine, you know, but uh, being in attack mode and, and making your pitch where you want in the zone that you want.